Hello guys, I am Sarah the Bears and this is very short tutorial uh, with a large battery, Schmidt trigger and gas generator. So the question is, how many Schmidt triggers do I need for my large battery grid? The answer is only one. Do you want to know why? So we build this uh, circuit uh, one lesson before with a student and it looks like a little bit uh, complicated but it is very easy. So I will try to explain it very very fast. So this logic reader reads one battery, it doesn't matter which one because it reads only the maximum battery charge. Then we are using a memory for amount of batteries. We have three batteries, so we are using number three for the memory. So we are getting this number, power potential, from this cable analyzer. And this math unit is calculating the, the maximum capacity of all batteries. So it is this logic reader multiply by three batteries. Then we are taking this number and we are using it in this math unit. And the calculation is the power potential from this cable analyzer divided by max charge of batteries. And we will get this nice number. And this number is basically the percentage. So we will turn this uh, number into percentage by the logic writer. And we are using the number one as a mo mode. So we will get the percentage on, on our uh, LED display. So then we are almost done. And this is the Schmidt trigger, as always. We are using this memory uh, for, let's say, 0 0.5 and this memory like 0 0.80, which means the Schmidt trigger will work from 50% to 80%. So we are taking these numbers into this select unit, like the memory minimum, which is 0 0.5, and memory max which is 0.8 and this is the compare unit which is comparing the, the data from this math unit which is calculating the percentage and it is saying if the percentage or the charge or total charge is less than this select unit the state will be 1 and it activates this logic writer. So I laid some cables this way because I don't want to make a circuit between this network and this network. So this logic reader has the access to data from this network. It has power as well and the output will be just this network and this gas generator. And the gas generator is using, as I said before, welder, welder fuel and the pressure for the welder fuel I am using 2 kPa and it will make 76.8 kilowatts of energy or 76.6. .6. So if I will turn this logic writer on the gas generator should run. Let's try it. So now the gas generator is running and we can see the batteries are charging. If you have only one battery or two batteries, the gas generator is too fast for this game and it can a little bit overcharge the batteries. 
but if you have a large grid of batteries it works perfectly. So let's see what will happen. So exactly what I said. The gas generator is just too strong so the Schmidt trigger or, or let's say the game is uh, too slow for it so we have just a little bit over 80% thank you very much guys for watching if you like this video subscribe for more bye bye